got this old battery and we're gonna I want to get the lead out of it so we're gonna try and pour the acid out into this little plastic tub which is a little bit too small but um, we'll see how we go got a couple of old batteries they're just out of old cars have been sitting around for too long flat so they're not my cars but they're um pretty ruined I've tried to recover this one with a bit of cycling charging and using but at the moment it's only showing 4.3 volts that means what, four of the cells are dead if they're two volt each topped up all the water but let's see if we can do this somehow without spilling I think I need a bigger tub Jug number two.
Well, there you can see inside it now. You can see this one looks very badly sulfated. And these three, so we were right. Four of the cells were dead, and we had two good ones, which aren't nearly as bad. Cool. That was a bit of work cracking that top off. I must plastic weld them on. See, that's nice and clean. That one's clean too. That one's dirty where it leads into the bad cell. I'm not sure now if this is. That's negative. So it's negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So the anode, I think that's negative, is um, nice and clean, whereas all the gunk goes to the cathode. Right, now we've just got to get that out of there. Maybe if we can cut there and there, the whole cell will, will slide out. That'd be good. Still a bit of water and stuff dripping out, so... We'll see what that does to all the grass here if it kills it or if it's watered down enough that it won't affect it oh. some lead there all right we'll have a quick go at getting one of these cells out Oh, look at that, bam. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, they're, they're chocker in there, even those ones that look good. They've expanded the cells out and really filled it up. So I don't think we're going to get them out just by pulling on them. But no. thinking about it. Oh, look at that. Better go get our lead container. Ugh. There we go. Oh. These are weird, eh? It's like, feels like plastic. I'm not sure if it's porous or not. There's stuff inside. And you've got that. Might be lead oxide, it's got a bit of weight, and this, it's got a bit of weight too. This is very brittle, very brittle. I'm not sure if, if we can use that or not. So do some research. And this stuff. Hmm. We might leave it there for now and I'll go and look up what this stuff is and what I want to keep if not all of it. So you have platters, it'll be like lead then something else in lead. Yeah, we'll leave that because I only want to put reasonably clean lead in our scrap bucket later, save sorting it later. That's definitely lead. Most of this is lead. So we'll go do some research and we'll come back. So 
So it's a week later, and we're back with the battery. Now, I've taken all the cells out, and this stuff, which is between these plastic sheets, this stuff I've let I've broken, let break up and fall out back into the battery. I don't think we can get much out of that. A lot of it's corroded and brown. I think it's what's giving the water its brown look. But these, you take the plastic off, and there's a lead frame, and that looks possible to recover. Plus the tops, uh, especially, they're, they're all, they'll all be easy. So yeah, that, that brings us empty shell of a battery, a lot of messy gunk inside, which we'll take to the recycling department. But yeah, and that gives us, that gives us, I'm not sure how much lead, lead's there, but we'll take a look. Now you can see the acid that's been sitting here. All the murk has settled down to the bottom. It was very muddy and rusty looking before, but now it's clear as a bell. You'd better filter that out without the muck. Not sure what you'd do with it, but who knows.